Hey everybody, it's Elementary Mitch here to show you today the Versatiles kit, which is really cool. Um, it's going to be for math, but they do have language arts, and it's a really cool way for students to be able to use something manipulative like this. If you want to get away from paper and pencil, um, this is a really cool way to just hone in their skills. So this today I'm going to be showing you is an odd and even way for them to reinforce those skills, teach those skills, and then they're able to do something really cool with this Versatiles kit and able to show you that they know what they're doing. So let's take a look at the kit. Okay, so the particular Versatiles box that I have is for math, and it comes with a lot of second grade standards here. So we got geometry, we have measurement and data, we have uh, more measurement and data, addition, subtraction, um, groups, equal groups and arrays, and another addition and subtraction up to 20 and beyond. And so it comes with eight of the Versatiles kits going to have numbers 1 through 12. And let me go ahead and show you how this works. Okay, let me go ahead and show you how this is going to work. Uh, this is the Versatiles container here. And this would be for storage, and this is going to be where you actually place your answers down. Here are your 12 tiles. Here's the booklet, and let's go ahead and make some sense about this. So we have the answers here that are going to be lettered, and so they'll match the lettered answers down here. So let me just pick an easy one for you here. So here we go. Here's the first tile, and we're choosing the even number. So we want to choose 4, and we come down here, and 4 is going to go into D. So A, B, C, and D. Okay, we're going to grab the number 2 tile here. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So 10 is going to be that even number, and 10 is going to be F. So that's going to go right there. The third one is going to be 2, 4, 6, and 6 is going to be G. So I'm going to put that right there. Number 4 is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8. So I'm looking for 8, and that's going to be I. I just put it right there. Number five is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So I'm looking for twelve, and that's going to go into the A spot. Now we're going to go down. Whoop! Oh, no, I have one more. Um, I'm going to be going looking for two, and that's going to be in the, for the K. So that's going to go right there. Now I'm going down to the bottom, and it says choose the odd number. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3. 3 is C, so that's going to go there. 8 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's going to be 5. 5 is L, so that's going to go there. Uh, number 9, that's going to be 1. So that's going to go into the B, right there there. Uh, number 10, 2, 4, 6, that's 7. So 7 is going to go, sorry guys for the focus issues, that's going to be for J, right there. Two more, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, that's 11. So 11 is going to be H, right there. And the last one, two, four, six, eight. That's nine, which is E, and it goes right there. And what we basically do is we close this, flip it over, and it should make the pattern that we want. And if we compare it, that's the pattern we're looking for. Okay, so that's how a student would be able to check their answer and go, yeah, I got everything right.